I'm Anthony Weaver with TheLeadPaintDetectives.com. Living in a house built before 1978, you have to think of cleaning in a slightly different way. These are the basic steps to cleaning vertical windows. Before you start, you want to gather your supplies. Start with a plastic bag, plastic gloves, and some spray cleaner like Formula 409 or something similar. You can also use Dawn dishwashing liquid you'll mix with water in a spray bottle. Next, you can use damp paper towels, generic or real Swiffer wet mop pads. What you use here depends on how much money you want to spend. Paper towels can seem cheap, but you may use quite a few getting the window clean and Swiffers can be quite expensive. Either way, you can only use wet paper towels or Swiffers once and then you must throw them away. Do not reuse paper towels or Swiffers from one window to another. This could spread lead dust and contaminate each window. Don't use, and I repeat, don't ever use a wet cloth, rag, or towel. This is a big no-no. Again, this could spread lead dust and contaminate each window. Start at the top and spray the window frame bottom, then the channels, and then the trough. Spray the corners really well. You'll notice with a hard spray, the dirt in the corners starts to lift away. Let the water soak in for just a minute. With vertical windows, you have to make sure you clean the weather stripping on the bottom of the window frame. Once the weather stripping is clean, start with a fresh clean paper towel or wet mop. Start at the top of the window frame bottom, then wipe out the window channels in one direction. Lastly, wipe the trough. Spray into the corner again and release as much of the dirt that is left over as possible. Use a new towel or wet mop and wipe the window trough clean once again. After you're done with one window, change your gloves, throw away all the used paper towels and wet mop pads, and start on the next window. This could be a big job if you have a lot of windows. I like to break down the cleaning into smaller bits. Instead of thinking, wow, I have a lot of windows to do. I will do a couple windows one week, then a couple more the next week. Eventually, you'll have all the windows done. Cleaning the window channels and window troughs should be a normal part of your cleaning schedule. Once you have the windows all done, start from the beginning and clean a couple at a time. This takes a big job and breaks it down into much smaller bits. I like to always say, wipe in one direction. Sometimes this isn't possible. The goal of the job is to get the window trough clean. This way, if young children put their fingers into the window trough, then into their mouth, they won't be ingesting lead dust. Lead dust is invisible. Ask questions, leave comments, like, subscribe to my channel, and first things first, test your children for lead poisoning. Call 1-800-424-LEAD or 1-800-424-5323.